Welcome to another video. A while back, I broke the PCI Express retention clips off of my motherboard. The first one broke when I was removing a GPU. I had the motherboard horizontal so the weight of the GPU was on the clip, and when I pressed down on the clip, it shattered. The second one broke when I tried to remove it from the bottom slot to move it to the top slot. It shattered just from prying it loose like you would a normal clip. The way these clips broke, they, they really did shatter. They, the pins sheared off. The first one broke into a bunch of pieces. I thought I saved them somewhere, but I don't have them. And the bottom one, both of the little locator pin things sheared off of the clip. Very bad plastic. What you see here is a typical consumer motherboard retention clip system. There are two arms coming out of the back of the slot, and there are two holes, one in each arm. The clip has two little locator pin type things on it, and those fit into the holes. That acts as the pivot mechanism so that the clip can either move to lock or unlock your card. If the arms break, you're out of luck. You can't get another clip on there. If the clip breaks, you can try to get a replacement clip. That's what I'll be doing. Keep in mind, though, that these clips aren't strictly necessary for your slot. If your case is square and your card is sufficiently anchored to the slot and there's no risk of it coming unseated, then you'll be fine without the clip. I looked at ordering new clips online, but I couldn't find any standalone. I looked at maybe getting a used or broken motherboard or some old mining risers and harvesting the clips from them, but that seemed to be pretty expensive. Someone suggested to me 3D printing the clips, but I don't own a 3D printer, and I don't think a lot of basic filament 3D printers are going to have the precision to make something this small. In the end, I ordered replacement PCI Express slots. I'm just going to harvest the clips from them, I'm not going to use the whole slot, but this still seemed like the least wasteful way to go. The reason I ordered four instead of just two was because of the long shipping time, three to four weeks. If I had broken one and had only ordered two, I would have to wait another three to four weeks to get another PCI Express slot. That was too long of an inconvenience for me, so I just ordered extras, and I figured if I need them as spares, I'll have them without having to wait the next time. Removing the clip from the slot can be a bit of a challenge if you're trying to preserve the condition of the donor slot. You have to pry apart those arms just enough so that they, there's room for the clip to wiggle free and then pry the clip up. If you don't pry the arms apart far enough, when you try to pry up the clip, there's a risk it could break. If you pry them apart too much, there's a risk you could break the arms instead of the clip. If you don't care about the donor slot, then breaking it's no big deal. You could even cut the clip loose if you had to. Once you have the replacement clip free, it's just a matter of pressing it into the slot where you want it to go and hoping it fits. In my case, they fit almost perfectly. They work perfectly fine, and now a card gets locked into the slot whenever I insert it, and it is easily unlocked. These new clips also feel way less brittle than the original ones. That's a plus, and I like the green accent on the board now. It makes it unique. I'm the only one who's got this board with green PCI Express slot clips. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please come back for more videos in the future.